Howdy folks, Stock here with Last Best Tool. And just look at this little thing. This fires out, this emolent MS-03 fires out 13,000 lumens on high. This monster Nebo right here is 12,000 lumens. Now that's 13,000, not 1,300. A lot of things are, you know, cracking the thousand barrier. This cracked the 10,000 barrier and is on its way to 15,000. So you've got 13,000 lumens. What does that look like? Well, I'll show you in a minute. We'll head outside with the thing. But what we've got is a small light, six and a half ounces. This thing is barely four and a half inches, not even, four and three eighths inches long. It does run on a battery that you have to take out to charge and that also seals the thing up. Um, and they do recommend using a synthetic, like a, uh, a silicone based, um, lubricant on the threads. Thought that was a nice touch given my previous video. But anyway, it's 4,000 milliamp battery. It's got USB-C charging right there. So you just click it onto your charger and fire it back up to full strength. So what do we have here? Well, we've got a bunch of settings. I mean, with one button. What, if I double click this, it'll give me the turbo. If I just push it once, it's gonna jump into its memory in one of about five different settings. It's got a high, a middle one, middle two, a low middle, and a low. Now the lowest this flashlight goes is 150 lumens. Just think about that. That's the max for some, some small flashlights, and that's the lowest here. Turbo, 13,000. High, we're running about 8,000. Middle one, the first middle section of the, of the settings, we're at about 3,000. Then we go to 1,300, then to eight. So the first low on this is 800 lumens. Um, now, of course, you don't get a huge runtime. Now, I like to bring unique flashlights to this channel. And one of the things, we have trade-offs. If you want to blast out, you know, light up a football field, but not for very long, this can do it. It can also run 27 hours at 150 lumens. So if you want to use it on low or even one of the medium settings, you're getting um, three hours or two hours, you know, out of some pretty high level settings, 1300 lumens, you can get two hours out of it. That's a ton. It uses a unique three LED uh, aluminum reflector design, mineral glass. It does get toasty, so you can use it as a hand warmer as well. The single button here has a few features. One, if I hold this button down, this is one of my favorites, see that green light that just popped on? That gives me an indication of where the flashlight's located in the dark and also where the button is. So I could just leave that on. That's all that does, is it leaves on a green light that tells you where the flashlight's located and where the button's located. So camping, pulling it out of my pocket in the dark, you know, especially with gloves, if I can't really feel the orientation, I can just leave that on and know right where to go by looking at it. Um, and then I just hold that in to shut it off for a couple seconds. That's all that, that feature does, turns that on or not. There's there's no other attachment to it. So it's pretty cool. I think that should be on every flashlight. Um, if I double click this, it turns on the uh, the full turbo mode, the 13,000. Like I said, we'll go outside and look what that looks like. It's pretty impressive. If I just push the button, it's going to kick on at a uh, whatever the last um, kind of the, the memory, the last setting I used. And then push it to turn it off. If I turn it on and hold it, it'll just cycle through the different settings. You know, and it, I can really feel the heat on the high end. And then if I double click it when it's off, it turns on this turbo. That's the full 13,000, I'm pointing it away. And if I double click it again, it goes to a strobe. Now this little thing is, uh, I, a surprising, uh, surprisingly powerful, small, hot flashlight that is really exploring, you know, kind of the upper end of what's possible. It's a neat design. It's, uh, it's definitely, if you're thinking EDC, I can see a lot of areas where this would really rock so just because you can light up a football field with it. In fact, let's go out and try that. Um, any other features with this thing? Um, it's a good solid construction. 
the uh, anodized aluminum like normal. Um, it does give you a battery indicator uh, when you're charging the thing. You can lock it out by simply pushing four times fast. That's blinking now. See, nothing's coming out. If I push it four times fast again, Oops, didn't push it four times. One, two, three, four. Now it's ready to go, and now I'm back. So you can easily, just by feel, kick it on and kick it off. So that's kind of a neat feature. Um, don't have to worry too much about uh, firing it when you don't want to if you want to lock it. Now let's head outside and take a look at this thing. What we're up against... Um, you know, when I, when I started doing some testing with this thing is I ended up, uh, being in a snowstorm, but here we go. What I've done is I've walked out to a park and I just fired it on turbo. So you can see, I'm looking out about 200 meters. There's a soccer goal way down there. Um, this is off. There's low, there's medium, medium, medium. You can see, and then high as I look at that I kick on that far end. But what we've got is a very bright, very, uh, very capable light. And the size of this thing is somewhat stunning, given that to get over 10K, 10,000 lumens, I used to have to go to something that was reminiscent of these old mag lights that weighs a ton. I can just slip this, thin, this in my pocket. I come to a park. I can fire it up and check for deer or other people or whatever... So anyway, this is the Emelant MSO3 13,000 lumen flashlight in a tiny little compact form. And with that, dock out.